everybody welcome back to armor of forger and in this video i'm going to show you how you can check out and test um, map mods so map terrains on your pc and xbox locally just to check for compatibility um, to see if it's worth installing on your server um, and to generally you know have a look you know see how how well finished the map is that sort of stuff stuff and this applies to other mods as well but we're kind of concentrating on on maps um, and if you go over to the online workshop and I'll put a link to it in the description below this video and uh, change the tag to terrain there's loads of stuff now um, and there's some a really amazing work on there and hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, highlight and uh, showcase some of these maps over the coming weeks as well but back to the subject in hand so we're going to do pc first then we're going to look at uh, xbox so the first thing you'll want to do is head on over to the workshop and you'll want to download the particular map that you want to look at so the one that we want to look at actually trying to remember yeah there we go calvoy island so the the Cowboy Island is a good one to practice with because it's quite small um, and it also comes with scenarios. Now that's quite important, the fact that it comes with scenarios. So have a look for it and click on download and, and you'll obviously you'll, you'll download it. And once you've downloaded it, it will go into your mod manager automatically. Um, when you click on it as well, you'll see if there's any dependencies. So some of the other maps will need other dependencies, especially the special maps like the Mogadishu map because they use lots of different assets from other mods. So you might need to download that as well and make sure um, it is um, enabled. Also, with the technique that we're going to use here, any other mods that you have enabled in your mod manager are going to uh, be available to you when you check the map out as well but just make sure that the dependencies for those particular mods are enabled as well. So here we've got the T72, um, so we've got to have Space Core enabled. This kind of mattered more really if you were checking out the mods using a helicopter before we had helicopters, because it's nice to fly around these, these maps to get a good feeling for them. But now we have vanilla helicopters, you can spawn them in. So once you've done that, on PC, what you could do if you wanted to, you could go to multiplayer and you could host a local server to check it out. But you don't need to do that. What you can do is, even within your mod manager, if you just click on the the, uh, the map mod um, and you scroll down to the bo bottom, you can see the scenarios that have been created by the map modder that are included with this particular map mod. And um, in Calvoy's state, um, case it says sandbox what they really mean there is get is game master so what we can do is we can just we can just click on that and we can just say play we don't need to host it we can just just click on play now make sure that when you do this that the mod is enabled because you can click on the mod um, and you 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 can get into that kind of menu without the mod being enabled and it will just it will stop with an error so as you can see we're in game master mode we can fly around and we can if we wanted to we could uh, in fact if we go down here um, let's just go into the entity browser um, what we got let's spawn in so there's a t72 t72 just to show you that you know that the other mod is working and then let's spawn in a what should we spawn in squad leader there and I could take control and now we could wander around and we can check out the island on foot to get a really good feel of it um, I mean this one is absolutely amazing um, and obviously we could spawn in a helicopter and we could fly around and check it out that way so you can really kind of get a feel of the different places on the map um, so that when you want to run it on your uh, server, say you want to run some game master missions, maybe where you should be adding assets, how the missions are going to run, kind of that sort of stuff. This one would be particularly great. I think it includes this, includes some free for all mods, but this would be great for some single player missions. You know, you could have some really nice small missions where you know you've got maybe you you know you land here on a boat. And you've got AI and you've got to take out some targets around the island. You know, you know a really short mission. Because one of the things that armor mission makers in general really like to do is to make really long missions. And we don't always have time for that. So that's how you do it on PC. Now, as far as I'm aware, this doesn't save anything. 
when you come out of it so it's kind of you're checking it out you're, you're having a go and it's done and it's just really for you on your um on your pc in this case to check it out we're not hosting a server so you know you couldn't you couldn't use LAN to bring somebody else in or even if you had port forwarding you couldn't get anybody else to play on it so let's now go over to the xbox so this is my xbox so let's so here's xbox armor of forger and what you should see is in the workshop in the mod manager i've already got calvoy island downloaded and um activated but what we really want is the enable the dependencies there we go for the t72 i'm just using that as an example so again t72 now if we go into multiplayer on xbox you'll see that at the top we don't have an option to host locally so we can't check things out that way but we're again within the workshop we can just like go to mod manager or you can do it within downloaded any way you can do it and we just click on cowboy island and then at the bottom you can see we've got the scenarios that we can check out so we just select one of these we go into it and it's going to fire up and just like it was on the pc we're going to be in game master mode there we go i mean this is the thing i think a lot of people don't realize about armor of forger on xbox um, and hopefully you know when it comes to ps5 uh, uh, before too long is the fact that we have this and so again um, let's go in the entity browser just to show you that the you know the mods working so there we go so we can spawn in there's a t72 <laughs> I love it it's amazing and then tell you what let's spawn in what else should we spawn in have we got enough room for a Let's have a look. Let's spawn in a transport heli. It's a bit tight. Put it there. And let's spawn in. Where are we? I'm a bit rusty with the controls on them. Ooh, what have I done? What have I done? Let's go here. No, oh, in fact, I should be doing this along the top, shouldn't I? No, wrong. <laughs> oh dear, sorry about this. I want to spawn in a person. I've got more to do this. So do we go? Let's just open up the entity browser. There we go. Let's spawn in a helicopter pilot. And then I've got to remember how to do this now. Open context menu, is it? Can I take control? Uh, oh, I think this might be. I've got to do a feedback track about this because what should happen is I should be able to take control of this character um, like that, and we should be able to take control. But you can't. Um, what you have to do is you have to spawn the guy in as a playable character uh, like this there we go so I pressed and hot let me just show you what I did so let's just um, oh gosh so where's delete See that doesn't see it doesn't work. None of the, the radial wheel doesn't work very well. But what you do is you spawn a character in, and you press and hold. Uh, oh, there we go. I, oh, it's come up at the top now. Okay, yeah, there we go. So at the top of the screen, it said press and hold, didn't it? So there we go, so we're now into it. Apologies for that, I'm just a bit rusty when it comes to controlling Game Master with my um, with my Xbox controller. Too much too much doing it on PC, so apologies for that. Um, let's get this engine started. Um, and here we go. Excellent. Now you need to go up and down. How amazing is this? 
<laughs> so we're on an Xbox console on a modded map flying a helicopter in armour of Forger so there we go my friends that is how I'm probably going to crash now aren't I? we should probably go back to Game Master well, I think the helicopter is going to crash now isn't it there it goes flying off into the distance <laughs> So there we go, friends. That is how you can check out uh, modded maps and the scenarios that they come with on PC and Xbox locally on your local PC. So, ooh, that doesn't look good. So again, so what you're looking here for is, is just to check out the map, just to see how complete it is, because quite a few of them aren't that completed. Um, and also to decide on maybe where you're going to be placing areas, whether it's worth creating, you know, a game master uh, scenario on your um, remote community server and generally um, just having a little bit of fun in a Game Master sandbox mode. Okay, so hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.